Hey, this is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. In this video, I want to give you a brief overview of the Texa IDC5 Marine software. Uh, first off, I want to say thank you for your purchase, and we'll go ahead and get started. Um, as you can see right here on this top side, top of the screen, we have all the software, truck, bike, off highway, marine. Down here, you're going to find your news the text puts out. We'll go ahead and minimize that. And then we'll scroll down here, and you'll see your settings. Uh, to make that bigger, just hit that plus sign. Here you have your app, language change, resolution change, and assistance. Um, there you have your update checks. Very important if you want to see if you have any updates or patches, click on that and it'll run you through. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Your text app and then your MyTexa is just the website. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on the Marine. And here you'll see the categories, all the engine types. On the left-hand side, your manual identification. That's where you could type in your license plate is what they call it, but it's really, you know, I use a serial number if you want to see saved information. Your eye support, that's going to be more for us. Uh, we send, when you have an issue and you call in, we send information back to tech, so this is what we use. Okay, top of the screen right here where the arrows are, that's your forward and backward. Your home screen and your settings, that's where you can find your Bluetooth if it's not working correctly and get in there and change, check that. Your keyboard, your IDC5 V13.4, that's your version. So if you call in and you're not on the right version, we'll go ahead and update your system and change that. Over here where your down arrow is, your IOP, same thing as your categories here. So we'll go ahead and click on the inboard engines. Here you have all your makes. You can scroll down through here. Let's see all those. Um, if you notice these blue Ds, that just means it's a demo. I can go through and run through a demo so you guys can see it. Um, you sh you're shouldn't have that. Also on this little square box, this is where you can go ahead and uh, connect. If you already uh, have the cables hooked up, you can go ahead and hit that and do a, a connection right there. Um, I don't rem recommend that. I usually go to the engine and go through that way, and I'll show you just how to do that right now. So we'll scroll up here. You see these letters? This is basically your engine makes. It matches the same thing. Uh, a little bit quicker way to doing it. So we'll hit M, and we'll go to Mercruiser and show you how to do that. So here you have all your models. Same thing on the right-hand side. You can go through it that way, um, or you can just scroll through it this way. Okay. You'll notice on the left hand side as we go through this will start changing and giving you more and more information. So we'll go ahead and do the 350 mag. And as you pick you're going to see at the top of the screen it's going to go through that so you can always look up and make sure you're on the right thing. So we'll do the 5.7 liter. We'll click on that. And your vehicle code, inboard engine, sometimes this will have little numbers. It's really your date. It'll let you know what the functionality is. So if it's a 15 here and an 08 here, it means it's good from 08 to 15. Um, sometimes it'll work regardless of that date, but it always helps to try just to make sure. So we'll go ahead and click that. And this will bring up your gas injection. Uh, so here's your global scan. You can hit this. We click this and it'll go through and tell you what exact what systems are on there and what the uh, box is recognizing on the engine. Uh, what I like to do is go ahead and hit the gas injection. Okay, so here's your gas injection. Your diagnosis on can node, that's what I recommend doing for Mercury engines. So you come over here to this little film strip and you'll hit that and it'll give you your cables. This screen's going to pop up. You're going to do the AM01 can plus the AM25. Here's your AM01 can. You'll know that by the red knuckle. And your AM25, it's a big purple block. It's the only one in there that's that big. And then your terminator. You'll notice on the engine, it'll either have a yellow box or a yellow cap or a red cap that'll say terminator on it. So you just click that little circle there and then hit confirm and you're ready to go. It'll start uh, reading the ECM. If that doesn't work or you want to try it by the serial number, you can pick one of these serial numbers. We'll just go ahead and do this, ECM07. Um, same way, hit the film strip. So here you're going to see your cables, your AM01, your AM05. Your AM01 is going to be the black. Your AM01 can is going to be the red. 
And then here's your AMO5, your little four pin. That's going to connect that OBD M connector. So on the bottom here, that little red dot, that's going to show you where the connector is found. And then you can watch the video. And that's going to give you a little bit more live look at where that cable is. Let me see that four pin right there. Okay. And then you just hit next and it'll connect. Um, your battery, sometimes the engine will need the battery to power up the uh, box. Other times the ECM will do it. It just depends. Um, if you're going to use that battery on uh, an, in an engine, like if you have two engines, you're going to use the same battery power as that engine. Okay. I'm going to close that out. Okay, so that's a brief overview of the Tech IDC Marine software. Uh, we'll have more videos coming out. Thank you for your business. This is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools, and thanks for watching.